Can I do the intro? Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! In today's video, we're doing um, we're doing a French tip. <laughs> no, I just know we're gonna need new to pop gel. In this package right here, we have um some new poly gel. I bought this off of Amazon. It's called A Siesta. I bought. Two of them because this poly gel is so gosh darn good it, it makes my knees go <laughs> yeah we're gonna do a Halloween set and um yeah that's about it yeah we're chilling <laughs> onto the video you didn't actually do my actual intro I can't remember your intro <laughs> uh <laughs> tell me what it is come on you know it hey guys and welcome back to my sad channel <laughs> Today we're going to be using some McCart poly gels. I got these on Amazon. This is my current favorite nude poly gel and they actually had them in like single bottles. So I was like, no way. Gotta get two. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to my ASMR. So today we're going to be popping some bubble wrap. Mama Mia's Animal Crackers. <laughs> oh wow. These handcrafted earrings made just by Katsidis herself. They glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. Okay, so yeah, in this video, we're gonna be needing some nude poly gel and we're going to be doing some nail art. So let's just get right into this vid. So here we have my sister here, Katsidis. And you guys ask if that's actually her real name. It's not. Her name is not actually Katsidis. That's just her, like, just her username. <laughs> Okay, so we're first gonna start off this nail set by pushing back the cuticles. Okay, now I'm gonna take this circular drill bit and I'm just gonna work this around the cuticle area. I'm gonna now trim off the excess dead skin from around the cuticle area. Okay, now I'm just gonna use this fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to remove the shine from the nails. She has requested to put on a peel off base coat because she likes her nails short, but I wanna do them long. Okay, so we got the cuticle oil on the nails and now I'm just gonna add a layer of top coat. This works as a peel off base coat to get the nails off really easily because, you know, nothing likes to stick to oily, oily nails. Okay, so here are the nail tips. We're gonna be using Miss Not Polish nail tips. Its hand so I'm just gonna size out all these nail tips okay so as you all know I normally use like KDS glue to glue on my nail tips but when I've been using this peel off base coat it's been kind of hard to glue them on because the glue just doesn't want to stick to the top coat so I think we're gonna try like curing these nail tips on with some base coat yeah guys this way is much better, but you but but you might need some help. Might need a friend. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at these long nails. We interrupt this. Did we interrupt? What does it say? We interrupt your daily program schedule. We interrupt the daily forecast <laughs> with cats. Oh my, that's such a cute cat right there. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim down these nails. So now we're just gonna take my flat file and file down the nails to shape. We're gonna go for a thinner square. Okay, now I'm gonna take my sanding band again and I'm just gonna remove the shine from the nail tips. What? Dewa, how are you gonna get down? What are you doing up there? She jumped on top of my closet. My closet shelves. How are you gonna get down, huh? <laughs> Did you think about that? Look at her, she got comfy. Got comfy up here. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> okay, next we're just gonna add on some base coat. These nails look so good right now. I think we should just finish this. Just stop right here. Perfect. See you later. Okay, so let's just start on the poly gel. We're just going to be using this nude color for all the nails, I think. I'm just going to put all this poly gel right here on the nail. Girl, that is way too much. No, I think it's going to be a good amount. I'm just going to start off by pushing this poly gel as close to the cuticle as I can get it. Alright, now once I have the cuticle area kind of situated pretty good, I just drag this poly gel to the sides of the nail. And then I just kind of like smooth out the sides. And smooth out the other side. But as you can see right here, I kind of have, it's a little bit thin. So I just try and push a little more poly gel in that area. Okay, so as you can see, this area is smooth, but the tip of our nail is not so smooth. So what we're going to do is kind of drag it down, but we're not really dragging down the poly gel. We're just kind of patting it out and smoothing it out. We want to be light and gentle because if we put too much pressure, it's just going to drag all the poly gel down and we don't want that. All right. And what I like to do with this little excess poly gel at the end is take the end of my brush and just slice it off. And I make sure to look at the nail from every angle. As you can see, our nail structure looks really good. So yeah, I just kind of strain out the sides a little more, make sure that the poly gel is fit to the nail tips because we don't want the poly gel to be drooping down the sides because that's what makes it like look thick. And you just want to make sure that your cuticle area is nice and clean before you stick this in the nail lamp. Very good. Now we're just going to cure this in the nail lamp. Oh my gosh, so cute. And to make sure that our work is not sticky, we're just going to wipe this off right now. Just in case, you know, we accidentally touch it. We don't want our fingers to be sticky. All right, now we're just going to move on to the next finger. I'm just going to be doing the same thing. Do you have any spooky experiences? Um, every night, as I lay in my the bottom bunk of my bed, it's really close to the floor. It's like a foot off the ground, or like a foot and a half off the ground. When it hits 2 a.m., my curtains go crazy. You're lying. No. Really? My curtains go crazy, mm -hmm. but it's only one section of the curtains, and everyone else is still. It's only one section of my curtains at 2 a.m. every day. One section of my curtains go crazy. And then I just ignore it. Or when that happens, I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> or or sometimes I'll be like, if I should do my homework now, give me a sign. And then it'll move sometimes. I have a double door closet, right? Mm -hmm. You like open them like pantry style. I don't know how to explain <laughs> pantry it. Pantry style? I don't know how to explain Some people's it. pantries are doors. Like it's a room. Ew. <laughs> well, they're giant doors that slide and then they fold, mm -hmm. right? And then I have two of them. But for a long time, for like a whole, what, three years? Mm -hmm. Something, I don't know. It's been a long time. My door, one of my doors were broken. So my closet was just always left open. And uh, if you leave your closet door open when you sleep, you're a menace. Basically what happens is at night, if you're watching like YouTube and you're like laying and facing the closet mm -hmm. and the, my light, I always leave my lights on. So what will happen is I'll see out of the corner of my eye one of my shirts that are hanging up move. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's only one. I have a fan, but I know it's not the fan because only one shirt will move <laughs> out of all of my clothes hanging. Only one. So I know it's not the fan moving it because the fan will move all of my clothes. Mm -hmm. But only one shirt moves and the rest are still. I'm like, you're done. You're done. And whenever I have someone over... So like when Spice is sleeping in my room sometimes, because we'll have sleepovers, the clothes will start moving and she says that she just ignores it. Mm -mm. But then when I have my friend come over, she always stays up the whole night or until like 3 or 4 a.m. I always I always pass out at like 10 o'clock when she's over. 
but what will happen is that she'll say the closet will go real like it will move a lot and she just tries to ignore it and i make her sleep on the outside of the bed because <laughs> i'm afraid <laughs> But I finally got the door fixed, so we're all good. <laughs> the currents still go crazy now. <laughs> One time, I was laying in my bed, right? And my bed oh, it's gonna faces... be my seat, curl. <laughs> no. I'm going to have to elevate my feet. It is kind of scary. Oh, I'm going to have to elevate no, no, my no, feet. No, nothing happened. Let me elevate my feet. <laughs> I'm going to elevate my feet. <laughs> no, it's going to eat your feet. <laughs> okay, so my bed, it faces the closet door. And sometimes I'll leave my closet open either because I'm too lazy to get up and close it or because I'll have a bunch of dirty clothes and I can't close it. So my door is open, right? And obviously it's dark when I'm trying to go to sleep. So I think I was watching like a YouTube vid or something, right? And the light from my phone obviously gives off a tiny bit of light through the whole room. And then I glance to see, I just, I don't know, I kind of noticed something in the closet, right? It looks like a head. Like peeking, like peeking out of the door, like just kind of like peeking out. It really looked like a head. It really looked like something peeking out of the door. So then obviously I was paralyzed with fear and started sweating. <laughs> and then I turn on my lamp and obviously it's obviously nothing. I think it was just like my pillows that I keep on the top of my closet shelf. Oh, another scary experience. It wasn't not for me. I did not experience this. I was the scary experience. Oh my gosh. When my, when my friend was sleeping over I was I chose to sleep on the top bunk and so she slept on the bottom bunk. I have bunk bed. And <laughs> for no reason. She has bunk beds for no reason. Well not for no reason. It's kill. Cool. <laughs> two beds. What do you have? <laughs> two beds for no reason. <laughs> so I just chose to sleep on the top bunk for no reason. So my friend sleep on the bottom bunk and she this is what normally um I'll leave the lamp on and she'll end up turning it off if I sleep on the top bunk because I'll always end up falling asleep while watching my video. And so I think what she told me was that the light oh, oh my God. <laughs> or my light was still on. My ceiling light was still on. And she said it was like 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. She She's always a late sleeper. So she said that out of nowhere, I sat up. I sat up out of nowhere. And basically, like, if you're on the bottom bunk, you can look in the mirror and you'll see who's on the top bunk. But yeah. And the same thing the other way around. But basically, um, she told me that I sat upright. I'm sleeping. Because I like, I have, when I sleep, there's a lot of activity going on. When I sleep, I either sleep talk or I do some weird. She said that I sat upright really fast. Or not even upright all the way. So I was basically hovering with my core body strength mid sit up. Oh and gosh. I'm staring down at her in the mirror intensely. That's but crazy. I'm sleeping. I have no recollection of this. And she told me this and she just kind of looked at me in the mirror and i don't remember i think i said something to her but i don't remember what she like what she said about it and also i have i literally there's someone stomping around in the attic above my room every once in a while like i'll be it only happens at night though it literally only happens at night and sometimes like, I'll just be laying in my bed, you know, watching YouTube or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I just hear the loudest thumping, like, above me. It sounds like footsteps. Like, it's just it's just so rhythmic. You know what I mean? Like, how can it be? There's, like, a tree right next to my room. Like, and that's what I blame it on. I'm like, it's probably just the wind and the tree, right? But it's like, it's not a windy night. <laughs> and so I blame it on the tree, but it just sounds so, like, rhythmic. Like, how can it be the tree? Okay, now that all the poly gel is applied, we're just gonna get reshaping these nails. I got my hand file and my McCart dust collector. Yeah, let's just get reshaping. <laughs>
Okay, now that we got all the nails shaped up, we're just gonna start on the nail art. We're gonna need some black and white gel polish. Okay, to start off this nail art, we're gonna do top coat so that when we draw on the nail art, we can easily wipe it off if we need to. Because if we just did the nail art straight on the nail with all these scratches in it, oh no, you're gonna have gel polish all in those scratches. It don't look like, like Domino baked beans. What? So I just got some black and white gel polish right here. And I'm just gonna start off on the pointer finger. So this nail is like this cloudy, rounded design. I don't really know, but it looks nice. It's not, it, it's nice. It's not giving the right thing though. Can you tell me a scary story? been studying how to scare humans out of their skins. Ooh, this might give you a fright. This story is called, It Lives. Again. A part here. A part there. Bits and pieces belonging to things long gone to rot in a ditch. But now, these parts would be given you life. Long into the night, the messy work dragged on. Hands. Slick and filthy. Electrical wires sparking like cruel lightning. Those long dead, forgotten parts creaking to life once more soon it stirred soon it roared victor had done it oh how they had laughed at him they said he was a fool that he was wasting his time now he would be the one who would laugh dawn came and the thing burst forth screeching and roaring as its rusty jagged blades cut down everything in its path the terrible sound woke his family and as they peered out the windows they knew it had finally come to pass victor had fixed his lawnmower if you want a scary story, I've got a few of those too. Say, tell me a really scary story. I don't get it. What just happened in the story? I didn't know Siri could tell you scary stories. All right, this is the spider web. I'm kind of nervous for this one. Next, I'm gonna do the sparkles. I'm gonna try it first this way using the dotting tool. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the mummy nail. I saw this nail set and I really liked it because I really wanted to do this mummy nail art. I just thought it was so cute and it's like simple and it doesn't, it's like doesn't really look like a mummy, but you know it's a mummy. It was honestly pretty easy. I would just say that you really need like thin nail art brushes, especially like to make the spider or the spider web. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple. It did still take me a while though, because I take forever for everything. And um, yeah, sorry this video, like the beginning of this video is so like chaotic and messy, but it was funny to me, so I had to keep it in. <laughs>
we're just gonna paint the pinky nail fully black. Oh, I guess I didn't have to paint top coat on this nail, but I forgot I was painting it black, really. Alright, so here's what we have the nails looking like after all that nail art. This is taking us a while. She's clearly sleep deprived. So next thing we're going to add on some nail decorations. We're going to use these tiny skeletons. It's 3.32 in the morning. <laughs> That's the nail business for you. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to use some matte top coat. I'm going to assume that you really shouldn't stick stuff in matte top coat, but I'm going to stick the skeleton in, into the top coat because I'm a little lazy right now. <laughs> So onto the thumbnail, this nail was white and we're just gonna paint this also with some matte top coat. So now that all the matte top coat is on, these nails look so cute. I'm just gonna finish this off with some cuticle oil okay and here are how the nails turned out let me know what you guys think of these nails in the comments i really love them i like i don't know they just turned out so cute what do you think catsitis mm. catsitis is very tired right now we've spent a long time on this nail set <laughs> then this addition of the skeleton is really really nice yeah i love the mat the mat is really cute so everything i use will be linked in the description you know the gel polishes the poly gel perfection these are so cute <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Hello. This is one of Catitas' Halloween charms that she made for the giveaway winners. Look how cute this is. And look, it even got cat feet. This is one. And here's the other one. This one glows in the dark. Yeah, I'm just packing the giveaway boxes right now, so... So this is how the first box turned out. I don't know if it's going to look like this after it gets there. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Super cute. Okay, and here's how the second box looks. So I'm pretty much done packing all the giveaway boxes. And yeah, now I just need to send them out. Thank you.